Have you ever desired to be a teacher? It's never too late. Find out on today's public report. TCT presents Public Report, a look at the issues and events of importance to our viewing area. Now, here's your host. Good morning and welcome to Public Report. I'm Eric Brown. Today we're discussing careers in teaching and how you can become one. It's easier than you think. Today's guests are from a wonderful program called North Carolina Step. They are Stacy Costello and Kevin O'Connell. Welcome to the program. Welcome. Thanks for having Thank us. We are delighted to have you on the show to talk about your program as well as salute and celebrate teachers because we know there are a shortage of them across the country in our state, so we appreciate you guys. Thank you. What is NC STEP? NC STEP is actually an acronym. It stands for um, North Carolina STEM Teacher Education Program, and that's a lateral en entry program for individuals who are highly skilled in science, math, technology, or engineering, and are looking to transition from the professional field into the teaching profession. Mm -hmm. We know teaching is a very noble profession, and do you think we need more teachers in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math? We see um, this is an issue across the state of North Carolina, across um, the nation as well, that many schools are faced with um, vacancies in science and mathematics. So what happens is, is you have students who are being taught by individuals who may not have the background knowledge to teach them successfully in those content areas. Okay. Well, let's get down to the basics of this program. How can people get involved? Let's say I'm a, a, a science person, technology person, and I want to be a teacher. What are the steps I should take to get involved in this program? Well, first and foremost, um, we look for candidates who have a desire to become a teacher. So the first process is to come to that conclusion yourself that, uh, that teaching is a profession that you want to be involved in, that you're ready to make that transition. And so if you have reached that um, conclusion and you're looking for a program to help you navigate that process to go from the professional world into the teaching world, then if you go to NC Public excuse me, if you go to ncnewschools.org, um, our application is available online. It is open currently right now and, be, and will be open until January 15th, 2013. So we're looking for 40 qualified candidates to fulfill our next cohort of teachers. We want people because teaching is a wonderful profession. You guys are planting seeds in the minds of so many young people and who knows, they may be teaching the next president of the United States, they may be teaching the next scientist or person who will find a cure for certain diseases. So it's powerful. I mean, we all can think back to our teachers in our lives and one or two who made a, an impact, I know I can. So mm -hmm. I want more people to get involved in this profession too. Now Kevin, why are you involved? You are actually going through the program, correct? Yep, um, I am, I guess, halfway through the program now. I'm part of the first cohort along with, now uh, it's nine other interns um, and they're from all over the place. I just graduated from college, so I think I'm the most recent of the college graduates. There's one more who was just a few days before me actually. <laughs> um, I wanted to become a teacher because of the things that I was learning at school. I, I was trained in environmental sciences as an inter interdisciplinary uh, route, so along the same lines as STEM, viewing all these fields as something that come together and make a more powerful product than any one science, technology, engineering, or math are by themselves. Um, I wanted to become a teacher because, like you said, they may be the next scientist to find something else out. They may be the next president. They, they are certainly going to be the adults who are handling tomorrow's issues and problems on the global stage. And we need to equip them with the right kinds of critical thinking, the right kinds of background knowledge, and the right kinds of attitudes um, in order to be successful when they're adults. I think you're going to make a very wonderful teacher. You're very passionate yeah. about that and we need uh, young people to get into this profession too. I think it can be a wonderful lifelong career for, for people if they really have that burning passion to be a teacher. 
Absolutely, yes. Let's talk more about this program. Now, how long will the program take to complete? So our, our program has three basic components. Um, the first component is online coursework that our candidates take through Wide World at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. So they take four cur courses in that online medium. Um, so that takes a 15-month period. They also are involved in a 10-month internship at one of the innovative schools um, that's in the North Carolina New Schools Network. So it's modeled after more like a medical residency where they're learning alongside um, highly skilled professionals and they actually learn from the very first day of school to the very last day of school. So they have that on the job experience. And then the third part of our um, program is professional development activities that are offered through the North Carolina New Schools. Kevin, what have you learned from the program and how will this prepare you to be a teacher in the classroom? Well, that's, got, that's a question with a bunch of answers. <laughs> um, as far as the online classes go, that's a little bit more of the technical aspect of being a teacher, the behind the scenes sort of deal that the students don't necessarily see. So lesson planning, uh, the communication, effective communication of ideas and uh, making learning more powerful, potent, uh, making the students' own thinking visible. Um, but then the internship at the school, like you said, I sit behind uh, two mentors at my school um, and so while they teach, I'm looking for the certain sorts of techniques and uh, patterns of teaching that they uh, employ. Um, so I'm getting an idea from real live teachers that I can couple with then the theoretical sort of knowledge that I'm getting from my classes. Um, and then we had just completed another professional development seminar just in the past few days. Um, and that's really excellent for networking. I'm meeting teachers all across the state. I'm meeting principals all across the state. I'm meeting the, uh, everybody pretty much in the New Schools project. Um, so there's innumerable things that I'm learning all along the way. Hmm. It sounds interesting and a lot of fun. You get to meet a lot of people. You get to see teachers in the field who can give you valuable advice about teaching. We know we all were impacted by teachers at some point in our lives. We, we see the, the, the rock stars. We see the, 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 the rich and famous people. But, you know, they were taught by a teacher. It all starts with a teacher. Mm -hmm. That teacher is very powerful in our lives. So I can't say... I can say so much about this program. We encourage people who have thought about being a teacher, if you're involved in the STEM areas, which are science, technology, engineering, and math, those core areas, if you have had that burning passion to become a teacher, check them out. This may be something for you down the road. It really could be. Now let's talk about the application process again. And what, what's involved in that? What do people need to do? Mm -hmm. So the application is available online. Okay. Um, it will ask for you know typical application questions about what your experience is, what your degree is, so that um, we can make sure that you have that connection to science, technology, engineering, or math. We do ask that you um, attach unofficial transcripts so we can check some of your coursework, um, and also three letters of references. So that is all part of that online application. And then it, the applications come into our office and we do um, a selection process in which there's the first round is more of a screening in terms of does the application qualify you for um, the STEP intern internship experience. And then there's a round of interviews that we do in conjunction with not only North Carolina New School staff, but with the school sites of which the internships takes place. So some of those teachers and principals are involved in those internships. Um, and the candidates so that we screen through an interview process. And then we do a site visit to the schools so that we can make sure that we find the best match between the school and the candidate. So it's, it's an application for the schools and us to choose our candidates, but it's also for the candidates to see, is this the right place for me to learn? Is this a good school fit for me as well? Interesting. You mentioned the North Carolina New Schools. What is this organization? Your program is housed inside of it. Yes, we are an initiative of that larger parent organization. Um, North Carolina New Schools is a nonprofit organization that partners with districts and schools to bring innovation, innovation into their buildings. So we partner. Part of what we do is we network with businesses, government, um, communities so that we can um, bring that innovation into the school setting. We also provide the schools with a wealth of best practices um, under a framework 
of design principles and common instructional framework. We also provide them with coaching to both principals and teachers, and then just innovative practices so that we can ensure that every student in North Carolina graduates from high school ready for college careers in life. Mm -hmm. That's important. We know when people do not graduate from high school, they don't make as much as those who go on to get a college degree. Mm -hmm. So we are all impacted by people who drop out of school. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a, a wonderful initiative to keep students in school, a great collaboration for communities, schools, to come together and to address these critical issues. Absolutely. Let's talk about the certification. When you get your certification, will it work for any high school in North Carolina? So the first, the first step is um, after the 15-month period of which they are trained mm -hmm. at the school site and with the online coursework, um, the candidates will receive a lateral entry license. So that is a temporary license that they use for three years um, to work in a school setting in which they are the official teacher of a classroom. They are hired by a district under that license for three years. And then after that three year period, um, then successful completion of those three years, they will can apply for the official North Carolina professional teaching license. Mm -hmm. Let's get back to you, Kevin. Let's go more into your uh, career aspirations to be a teacher. When all of this is done, um, what objectives do you want to, uh, to have? I mean, what, is your, what are your career goals and objectives? So by the end of the program, I, I can already tell I'm going to be really equipped for teaching, and that's, I, I can, is, you can sort of feel it in the air, right? You know that um, you're getting attached into a movement. This is one of the great things about North Carolina New Schools is that um, it's not the traditional teaching pathway. You're not just training a teacher. You're learning how to make a community inside of the school. You're learning how to form partnerships and relationships. You're learning how to build all of the necessary components to successful living. So one of what, you, what Stacy just mentioned, um, graduating ready for college careers in life. It's not just that we want to get the kids out into college and then perform well there and then hopefully graduate from college. It's that we want them to have the skills to be a, an amazing citizen in the country. We want them to be ready to live a, an extraordinary life prepared for all those things. So the goals I have at the end of it is not just to teach someone successfully in a biology class. Um, that's going to be the easy part, I think. The tough part is going to make sure that they're going to be successful adults by the time that they get out of high school or college. Um, so my, my long-term aspirations are to figure out how to, like you said, plant the seed and make an exceptional adult or, or few. That's right. We need teachers. We need you guys out there to plant those little seeds. So I'm very excited for you. Now, what are the obligations for the participants? You know, after you're selected into the program, what are, what are, what are your obligations? What do you have to do? So after the program, um, I am required to teach in North Carolina for three years. Um, part of that's the deal. So the program is, it's all paid, so all the coursework, all of that. And my way of returning to the state is to teach in their schools. And um, I think the state wins in that because they're making a really successful teacher. Mm -hmm. um, I can. Like I mentioned, all of the interns in the program currently and then the ones I, in the next coming years, they're going to be extraordinary teachers. They're learning the tools. So um, as far as obligations go, we, we are just repaying by performing as well as we can in the trade that we were taught. So it's a win-win situation for everyone. And like I said, the teachers, we know that you guys really want to be teachers. You're going through all of this uh, to really have a heart for the, the profession. So, I mean, I, I, mean, I think that's, that's wonderful. Um, we are funded. Um, the reason why we can give Kevin and the others that opportunity is we are funded um, by the Department of Education through a transition to teaching grant. So this was a response to meet the need of that shortage of science or teachers in the United States. And so they allowed grant funding to be used to train teachers in an alternative way um, so that we could get highly qualified people in the classroom. So part of that grant allows us to give the candidates a cost-free program so we take care of their tuition, their training materials, um, all of those aspects in terms of um, the professional development so we cover that cost. It also allows us to give them a stipend 
Um, we can give them a stipend of $2,500 through this grant funding. Um, it allows us to give them a little bit of money in terms of when they first start teaching and you get into that classroom and you're that brand new teacher and um, you need materials to teach with. And so sometimes the schools will provide you with some resources for that, but you always need more as a teacher. So we are able to give them a little pocket money for that so that they can um, put some resources into their classroom. Um, the grant money also allows us to, when they're at the internship site, as Kevin mentioned, they are guided by mentors. So they have a mentor team at the site that also receives some stipend money because they are in turn training, helping us train these interns. So um, that grant program is really what's allowing North Carolina New Schools the opportunity to provide this for um, North Carolina. I, I can commend the, the new school uh, project, but you guys are really being innovative in getting people who really want to be involved in education, you giving them that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, it's, it's worthwhile for our state too because we need good teachers, you know, to stay, for our kids to, to stay competitive, for our nation to stay competitive globally, we need a solid, strong education system. And I think this adds to that foundation in a powerful, powerful way. So would you encourage other people, other people who are in the STEM area who would like to maybe transition over to education to, to take a look at this program, Kevin? Definitely. This program, uh, is, like you mentioned, is innovative in all sorts of ways that I couldn't have dreamed of. Um, <laughs> we do need good teachers, but I think the second point that you mentioned was we need a really strong and powerful education system. And so one of the things that the STEP program is providing the interns at its training is it's not, it's not only equipping us to be teachers, but it's teaching us how to be a participant inside of the education community. So we're learning the skills to handle a classroom and to educate students, but we're also gaining all the skills to participate in education as a cultural and societal movement. So for anyone who's interested, they're coming out of the STEM fields as a professional, and they know that teaching is going to be one of those things that they, they're considering heavily, or you know, maybe they're still on the edge. A program, a program like STEP is definitely worth looking into because not only is it going to get you into teaching, it's going to get you into that movement that you think is probably going to be that life dream that you wanted. And it is a movement. I mean, we all need to get involved in education. Teachers, we need to support our schools, we need to support our administrators, we need to support our young people. We need to nurture those who have a passion for the STEM areas. Uh, there's a shortage of women sometimes and minorities in this field. How can we nurture an interest in the STEM areas, in your opinion? How can we get students excited about science and technology and engineering and math? I think uh, the students already are. That's um, good, that's a good they, thing. I think that it's not so much an attempt to get the students interested in these fields, but to not disinterest them from it. I think that before, by the time they get into high school or middle school, anywhere, whenever they enter into the STEM fields, they're, they're coming with a passion for them. And it's the way we teach, the current way that we teach, and the current systems that education are, are pushing our kids through that makes them turned off from those ideas. So what we need to do and what the STEP program is teaching interns like myself to do is how to keep the kids attention, how to make it exciting and rich, how to make it real and tangible the way that the STEM professionals already feel these subjects to be. Science is an extraordinarily living and amazing project and I recognize that but when you talk to a student they might just think it's the cold hard answers that you bubble in on your test. That's not the fault of the student. They could be interested in robotics, they could be interested in um, oceanography you know there's a whole lot of ideas that kids always want to get into but it's the way that we teach is the classroom design that needs to be updated in order to keep and pique that interest mm -hmm. now Stacy you want to add to that yeah and this is where we think our program is different in the fact that um, in terms of teaching science math and technology and engineering um, it's applying it to the students' lives so that they can find a real-world application. Like, what does this mean? When would I ever use this? And so our candidates already come with that background because they've already applied it either within their discipline, um, within their college setting, or within their career path. So when you have students ask that question, why do I need to learn this? they have tangible answers that says, well, I've been an engineer for 15 years and this is how I used this science concept or this math technique. And so um, it's a natural um, 
it's a natural thing for them to do to add in that application and so it creates a richness for students. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Stacy, tell me about your background. You're a former teacher. I am a former <laughs> teacher, yes. Um, I was a um, science teacher, so I taught a lot of courses in biology, chemistry, and some interdisciplinary kind of um, subjects as well. So I taught for, for about 11 years, and then I transitioned into um, the State Department. I worked for the Department of Public Instruction for a while in terms of assisting schools and districts. Um, and then uh, moved into this role to run this grant program for North Carolina New Schools. So you have a heart and passion for education too. Absolutely. I can remember my teacher, my science teacher in high school, Miss Eason. She was a very good teacher. She made an impact on my life. And uh, she made science interesting and fun. You know, you were excited to go to class every day because of her innovation and her methods of teaching. So I'm, I'm glad, Kevin, you are being innovative in your thinking so when you get into the classroom you can inspire students to see the, the, the fun and the exciting aspect of science, because it really can be, really can be. It always is. I it think. always is. <laughs> <laughs> what are the rewards to being a teacher? I'm going to ask each of you that question. You, you have been a teacher, you're going to be a teacher, so what are the rewards to being a teacher? Well, there's a lot of them, but for me, first and foremost, was always the interaction with the students. I always told myself that um, I went to school every day because those, ki those kids made me laugh every single day. I mean, there is just, there is a um, zest in those kids, there is a passion in them, and that it's the role of the teacher to pull it out, and when you see that come out in children, um, that's rewarding in and of itself. So those kids are what drove me to school every single day. What do you think the rewards would be for you? <laughs> I think Stacy named the best one. <laughs> and, uh, already, already in only the few months that I've been at school, I can see that that's coming out. Um, and just as a tangible example, that the first weekend that I had the "Have a good weekend, Mr. O'Connell," that was, you know, the reward of it all. <laughs> and I think that sums up the feeling that most teachers have for why they continue to do so or why they even get into education. It's seeing the faces light up when they learn something new, watching those gears turn and figure out a complex problem. It's just exciting and rewarding to be around learners of any age, but when they're children, it's most especially exciting. Mm -hmm. We have to keep them, get them excited about learning at a young age and then keep them excited throughout their life. Mm -hmm. What can professionals from the STEM areas bring to the classroom? You say you've been working in the field for many years, and you said, well, what, how can I transfer these skills into the classroom? How can these professionals benefit the typical classroom? Well, this is where we see that their um, application, their knowledge in the applied math and science, they can easily tran translate that for children um, and put that into the students' hands so that they can give those real-world examples to the content, to the curriculum, to the textbooks, you know, they can actually bring it to life. Mm -hmm. And in your opinions as educators, how can we bring more people into this profession in general? Into the teaching profession? Into the teaching profession in general. We know there's a, there are shortages of teachers. What can we do to attract more people to this profession? Well, one thing, um, I think there there has there's a calling for certain individuals that want to that want to give back that want to um, the expertise that they hold within themselves they want that opportunity to translate that and to transfer that into others so that it continues and sustains so I think first and foremost is to find that within oneself and then to let that drive that decision whether to become a teacher or not I think in an ironic way as well. Um, since there is a shortage of excellent science, math, technology, engineering teachers, it's going to be harder every year and every year later to find more of them because education is one of those areas where time matters. For every student in a classroom that doesn't receive excellent education, the next year that loss is going to carry with them and the next year and the next year throughout their entire lives. So for there to be a shortage of excellent teachers in any subject really, um, that means that there will be a shortage the next year when those get to be, when, the, when that student becomes an adult. Um, so programs like this are going to help this because we're going to excite and uh, reinvigorate STEM professionals who will then 
make the next generation of STEM professionals who can get excited about teaching. So education is one of those areas where it, there is a, a cycle going on, you know, we, a feedback loop of education where once it starts maintaining itself, it will just self-perpetuate. Mm -hmm. That's what we want it to do. We want to draw the, the best people, the brightest minds to teach our children because our children are our future and you teachers are a vital part of that future. Again, what can people do who may want to get involved in this program? They want more information about mm -hmm. the North Carolina STEP program. What should they do? How can they connect with you? Okay, so first and foremost, um, our website is ncnewschools.org, and so there's information on that particular website that they can read more about the program. It also has a link to the application. We are also hosting some informational webinars um, through this open application period. So once a, once a month between now and January 15th, we'll be um, hosting a webinar so individuals can sign up for that just so that they can hear more about the program and also ask questions if they have them, and that information is on our website as well. Okay. In general, how does this program impact education? Well, we are hoping um, our specific program, um, we have the grant for five years, and so we have set a goal to train 192 STEM professionals to become teachers with over the next five years. That's great. That's great. I think it's, I'm very excited about this program. I'm so glad I met you a few weeks ago <laughs> yeah. because we want people to get excited about education, excited about the teaching profession. We want teachers who have a burning passion to teach young people through this program to get involved with the STEM program, and we encourage people to just support education in any way they can. Kevin, I wish you all the best of success. Thank you very much. I'm I excited for you. I can see a great career ahead of you in education. Thank you, very much. you have the passion and you have the innovation to be a great leader in education. And Stacy, we pray, appreciate you coming on the program to talk about what you do, continue to empower us and the community through the uh, new schools program. It's a worthwhile project. Again, we encourage you to contact the North Carolina STEP program, look them up on the website to find out more about this innovative, exciting program that's impacting teachers around our community. It's educating minds and allowing great minds to educate our students in such powerful and far-reaching ways. As always, we appreciate you for allowing us to come to your home to talk about issues that really impact your community. We will see you next time on another edition of Public Report. This has been Public Report. Public Report discusses the issues of interest and importance to our viewing area. Please remember that the views expressed by our guests are their own and do not necessarily represent the views of TCT or the station.